Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. Today I will be showing you how to get an S-Class underwater breathing module. Now you might be thinking, wait, you can't get those, the space stations never sell them. And that's true, space stations only sell B-Class underwater breathing modules but recently people have discovered that you can get them from the damaged tech debris that you can find scattered across worlds. Only problem is it's extremely unlikely to get that drop. Like see over there is a damaged machinery. I could go there and I could check it, <clears throat> but most likely it would just be more nanites but very rarely you can get a upgrade module from them but even more unlikely you can get an S-class underwater breathing module so what people have done is when somebody gets super lucky and finds an S-class breathing module from a damaged tech they mark that location and give out the portal address now this portal address was given to me by a guy on PSN named Spurlingas. I don't know if he's the original guy that discovered it and marked it for people or if he just went to the address that other people uh, gave him, but he is the guy that let me know about this portal address. So the portal address is Bird Sun hexagon tent sun marker bird bird triangle boat ship let me double check I got that right And the last one is whale. All right. All right, hopefully this works. Because I myself would really like an S-Class underwater, underwater breathing module. So I'll be very happy if this works. And I hope that it will work for you all as well. And people said that uh, you can actually use this to get several of them. The same damage tech will continue to give you uh, S-Class breathing module every time you go to it. So you can come back later, get one, and you could like sell it for nanites and stuff. So this is also a trick you can use to get more nanites. Okay, hey, looks like we're on the right planet. Yeah, mar module is north northwest. Let's see how far away is it? Okay, let's see north. Okay, here's north. Yeah, so it's probably that right there where there's a base. How far away is that? Oh, that's 16 hours away. Good thing they let you use your ship now or it would take forever for me to get there by Exocraft. Before next, you could only use your Exocraft after going through... Oh, well that one's just two hours away. Let's check that first. Uh, but yeah, you could never have your ship after going through a portal, but now you can. You just can't warp. So... We're going to try this closer communication station first. If that's not it, then we'll go to the where that base is. And I guess we can showcase the base as well if that's where the underwater breathing module is. Let's try this because it's closer.
There's some comm stations here. I don't know why they're here if it's not for the device. No, oh, these are just joke. <laughs> they're just joke comm stations. People do that when there's a special planet with something marked by comm stations. Some people will come and put comm stations elsewhere to throw people off. It's kind of a troll. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's at that base. Someone built the base there to help mark it even better, probably. Or it's another troll, we'll see. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably at that big group of comm stations there. Let's go see, and then I'll probably showcase the base as well. Just for fun. But first, I want to confirm that I can get the breathing module. Oh, cool. They put it at the top of a plateau thingy. Right nearby. Yeah, this has got to be it. With so many comm stations. Wow. <laughs> This is pretty popular. A lot of people have come here. Uh, I know because you can only see one other player's comm station per planet. So every single comm station is a different player's comm station. So there have been, I don't know, looks over 20 people have come here at least. Okay, where is the device? Ah, there it is. Alright, here goes. Sure hope this works. Yes! Underwater Protection Module S. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and install it into my exosuit. Right, it's right here. I'm gonna put it into my tech. So yeah, I have a B-class underwater protection but we're going to get rid of that and install the S-Class. One thing people have asked me about, and I've let them know, is that you only want one upgrade module for each hazard. If you install more than one, it doesn't help. It just takes up extra space. The, the, the upgrade or the shield only lasts the same amount of time it never increases if you um, install more. You can install up to three before they will stop working at all, but it won't help you anymore to have more than one. So you just want to have one underwater breathing module, one radioactive, one toxic, one cold, one hot. And, I, and as you can see, I now have S class for all of them. So that's pretty sweet. So there you are, come to this portal address, uh, fly over to this big group of comm stations and you too can get an underwater breathing module S-Class. I'm going to leave my comm station too. I just put my typical message of Mac 4 day was here. Okay, I'm gonna run up to this base and showcase it. Obviously, if you're just watching the video to get that, you've already got the info you needed. But I'm gonna showcase this base as well, just for something extra. May not be anything interesting on this base, but we'll see. Yeah, it's pretty cool that players have banded together to help find these rare things like this. So that everybody can get an S-Class underwater breathing module now. And I'm getting the word out about it so that other people can know about it. Yeah, I don't think Sperlingas was the original guy to find it, but he let me know about it. So thank you, Sperlingas. Uh, gotta wait for my jetpack to recharge a bit. Mad Manx base. It almost said Mad Max, but he had a letter N in it. Huh. Well, we'll get to jump off when we get to the top. 
That'll be fun. Hopefully I won't fall off now. And some more jetpack. Yep, I had a feeling it was just going to be a computer, not anything too interesting. Oh well. It's just mad... Mad... What's his name again? I forgot, it was like Mad Manx Base. Alright, I'm going to jump back down. We'll do the, we'll see the fa funny falling animation. We. Yeah, one criticism, criticism of No Man's Sky that people had when it first came out was that there were no big tall mountains. So Sean Murray and Hello Games made sure that they had big tall mountains. Uh, in No Man's Sky next, so people could never say that again. <laughs> so now we've got these giant plateau, you know, big mountain with a flat top to prove that we do have tall mountains in No Man's Sky. So no one could ever say that again. There were tall mountains before, but they had kind of a gradual slope to get up to them, so it was hard to prove that they were a really tall mountain. But now you can fall from the really tall heights like that to prove that we really do have high elevation mountains. Alright, so I'm going to end the video here so I can show the comm stations and the device in the thumbnail. <laughs> so this has been how to get an S-Class underwater breathing module. So, I have been Mac, thank you for joining me for a day, and remember, everything is going to be okay. <laughs>